Hi, hello, welcome. It's Pip Todman here from QueenPipCurls.com. Welcome to this month's suite of possibilities with my good friend Katina Martinez. This is a video hop um, and a blog hop where we share projects that we've made with the um, suite of our choice. And this month it's Enjoy the Journey suite. So if you have a catalogue, it's on page 58 uh, and it's called Enjoy the Journey. And here you can see some cards that they've made. And on over here, you can see the products. So over here, we have the um, stamp set and dies, the pack of papers, uh, some twine and some embellishments. Now, I have the pack of papers and the bundle. I don't have the other elements. So I'm going to work with what I have. And I have I've made this really simple card to start off with. Uh, I don't know how many projects I've got to show you today, but it's it's well in the twenties, I think. Um, we're going to be making probably four or five cards today, so I'm going to crack through this uh, and we'll get started. So here's the stamp set, which at first glance doesn't really um, seem to go with the papers, but actually the more you look at it, the more it does. So this is the beautiful stamp set, and I do love the sentiments that are on here you belong among the stars mountains of thanks wishing you joy in this next adventure we're in this together this moment is the start of something great and i'm so inspired by your courage um i think they're all perfectly great sentiments that you can use uh, and then it comes with this die set uh, which are these okay and in here we've got some additional things so we've got a tent uh, um, a, a lady with a lamp uh, a runner and a motorcyclist or a cross-country motorbike person something that cuts out an edge and then a moon and then a little stick and then items that cut out um, the actual designs that are like the trees and the flowers and also these great little clouds which are in there so a really packed die set as well which is cool I'm going to leave that open because we're going to need some of that um, and then not actually shown in the suite but I think um, that does actually go um, with it completely is the enjoy the adventure memories and more cards and envelopes and the memories and more card kit. So the cards and envelopes look like this. They have this uh, lovely pattern on the envelope and then you have one design like that and one design like this and you get um, 10 of each design. So you get 20 cards in total. Uh, and then you have the card pack that goes with that and these are like little cards the best part little conversation bubbles we've got a bubbles um, die set so that goes really well with that enjoy the adventure the best part so grateful wishing you the best I mean these are just brilliant I love this one lucky to have a friend like you a uh, little frame some writing journaling cards you're the best thinking of you some more journaling cards back sort of background cards lovely piece of brickwork thank you so much love this life I mean you get the you get the, the the gist there's loads and then there's six inch ones as well six by four large pieces hello there lovely uh, background pieces you make my heart happy I love that one I haven't seen that one actually I missed that um, probably because I like what's on the other side yeah just the plain background um, can't thank you enough uh, some big you know black big bold black and white I love these uh, and then we get some stickers you get two sheets each of um, both the sets of stickers so it's just a great um, set and I'm going to show you some more with those later on so I always love a card pack that like, like a suite that has a card pack that goes with it and then these are the papers so we have this beautiful one which has got clouds at the bottom and like a seas at the top I love that um, trees going up and down in ombre effect beautiful beautiful um, sunsets and skyscapes and you know you could have that cut out and that could be the sky and these could be the mountains or you could turn it up the other way and these could be the mountains you know it's just they just work both ways it's brilliant same in green and purple my favorite the purple bit then we get these with real brilliant like mountains 
um, highlighted with that beautiful white snow they're great and then we get the same here with like this um, sunset sunrise moonset moonrise could be either um, and again in the green so this paper's fab but then you switch it over on the back and you get some great background papers as well so I think this is my favorite that one and then this one this beautiful um, starry sky and then this sort of um, almost a like an Incan or Mayan kind of textured pattern and then this beautiful pink <laughs> which I also love obviously um, so that's the papers now let's get to the cards so I've shown you this card already um, I've got some more of this type of card uh, very simple ones that's using that cloud paper and then this one's using that pink and green uh, this one using the mountains I really like this um, this paper with the with the mountains and I've added um, I've added an embossed heat embossed moon up there so that's a really cool idea just a simple way of adding more to your paper uh, this one here just some plain stamping in the bottom and then I've got two fun ones this one's um, gnomes in the mountains love that and uh, this one uses that flower stamp and on the other side of the papers doesn't it look completely different you wouldn't realize that that is from the same set of papers as that but it is so you can see what I've done with those let's make some more cards now very I want to show you how to make more quick and easy cards because I think papers like this you're almost afraid to cut them up uh, and that's exactly what I want you to do so I'm going to show you how we're going to do that I've got this piece here which I love this is just the pink side of it um, cut in half and I really like this as a moonscape uh, like a moon rise so I want to make sure that I get that in my card so if I cut it here I know I'm definitely going to get it in so that's the way I look at my card designs and then I look at the paper and I go okay so I'm gonna have to cut mine down a little bit because at the moment it's six inches and our cards are a little bit smaller than that so do I want to take off the bottom or do I want to take off the top and I kind of think I might I might choose differently for each card so <laughs> so I'm going to do this one at 10 and this is obviously metric numbers this one I'm going to take off the bottom okay. so now we've got that and then this one I'm thinking I'm going to go right what do I get if I do ten and a half on there do I get all of that in two okay so we're going to take that one full size and then take a bit off the top maybe because it's only a little bit coming off there we go and then this one's already at the right size that way so this time I'm going to chop it down this way take a bit off the top So now we have three very simple cards, pretty much already done. Going to go straight on to card bases. Now I just need to pick a card base. Okay. Uh, so what do I want? I think I'm going to put this one on the pink actually. Then if the pink shows around the edge, it doesn't really matter very much. It's going to go edge to edge, it won't show, but I think the pink will blend in better. And then I've got two different ones here. I've got um, Pumpkin Pie and Mango Melody. And they both give a different zing to the to the paper. When, I, when, I, when you, you see them on the paper, you'll see what I mean. They give a different look depending on which one you use. And I like that. So we'll just score those in half. Now these are obviously designed um, this way to be upright cards, but you know you could um, you could easily make cards that go the other way. 
see so that really pops that yellow out of the middle here see that whereas this one this one sort of tones it in with the pinks do you see how different they are just by changing the color of the cardstock underneath and you can choose whichever one you like or do both because you've got both pieces so you can switch it around and see which one works best with that moon is it the pumpkin pie or is it the and I think it's the pumpkin pie because it gives a bit of a deeper look like it is a moon like a moon land moon rising as it were so let's start let's start with that one because I think this one's probably the easiest one we can start off with just do a bit of that I don't really want to put anything else on that front I think the moon says it all. I don't think we really need anything else. And I love a card where you just go straight in. It's um, when, the, when you've got pattern paper like this that can tell a story all by itself, you don't really need to add much more. There we go. The only thing if I was going to add anything is I might just add some very pale stars up there and in fact I might just still do that and if you want to go pale you'll want to go a colour lighter than than this so I'm going to go for pale papaya and in the stamp set there is a fabulous star stamp just gives you like a cluster of stars and since this says you this um this has got a moon with it, it seems to be appropriate, I think. And you probably should do this before you put it on the card, but it doesn't matter. You can still add some. Oh yeah, that's great. See how light they are? Almost almost not there, but yet they are. Almost but not quite. That's it, and that's all I need. I don't want anything more than that. Just, just a very simple a few stars just to add to the top. And then I would like um, some words on here, and I think we're going to go with "You belong amongst the stars." I think that's just a great great sentiment and you could actually just go straight on if you're feeling brave you could just go straight on um, and make it a one sheet card which is tempting but I want to put it up on something so I've got my stamp I'm going to use pumpkin pie on pumpkin pie so it's all quite very blended if you know what I mean Belong among the stars. Not sure if that shows up enough actually. I might, I might, I might do Melon Mambo instead. I think I need more ink in my pumpkin pie. Let's, let's try that again but with Melon Mambo. Get kind of a tone on tone going. Oh, yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's definitely better. And then I've got two punches with me. Um, I'm using this one, which is a. It's either Label Me Lovely or Label Me Fancy. I can never remember which one. I think it's Label Me Fancy. This one, but I could be wrong. I'll, I'll put the. I'll put what it is in the. In the um, description below. Don't worry. Uh, so here we go. That that just fits that perfectly. Pop that up on some dimensionals. So we've got a bit of height. And then I love adding some sparkles, especially to a card which is otherwise very, you know, quite plain. I'll pop that up there. Make sure I've got it straight. And then 
Ooh, just getting out all my packs of stuff. Let's have a look. What would work well with these? I think those would look lovely, actually. I've got some of those left, so I'm going to pull those out. And I'm going to pull those out as well. <laughs> I love having a lots and lots of different packs of things to use. Right, OK, so I'm going to use these for sure. Because I love that. Um, I love this one. I think this one's great. Especially on this card, it's gorgeous. So we can pop a couple of the smaller ones up above. And then I'll stick one of these just in. Uh, yeah, just in there, I think. Just so it shows there. So we've got the moon and then you belong among the stars. How easy was that? So quick and easy. Okay, so the next one, similar vein, but this time I'm going to stamp both top and bottom. So we'll take the fresh freesia, oh, that's a bit clunky, um, again and stamp some stars randomly. Now if I wanted to, I could add a darker colour for a moon or a sun. That's the good thing. This um, this could be a moon or a sun, you know. Um, it doesn't need to be just one. And then I'm going to go with some of these trees at the bottom here. So I'm going to just add in a few trees, but I want to put them in in Melon Mambo so that they sort of blend into the background a little bit. Because trees don't need to be green, not if you don't want them to be. So I'll put this on here. And we'll just do a, a few trees down here, like so. There we go. See, they look right. Look a bit electrified, but um, they look okay. <laughs> All right, so then that's that one. And we're going to pop that one straight on here. Perfect. Okay, so now that covers the whole card, which it always gives it a nice look like that. Uh, and then for this one, I want to do a bigger banner across the middle. Um, we've either got mountains of thanks or this moment is the start of something great. Actually, I might do... No, I'm going to do mountains of thanks. There we go. Okay. I'll do this. And this time I'm going to go melon mambo. Oh no, actually, uh, yes, I will. I'll do Madame Mambo. Okay. And I'm going to have a whole Madame Mambo theme going. Put that down there. And I'm not worried about it being straight because, again, I'm going to punch this out. This time I'm using the rectangular postage stamp punch. And that fits in there perfectly. If you want to make it smaller, you could do as well. So you could make it a little bit smaller if you wanted to have it a tight fit. In fact, let's do that. So punch it out and then grab a post-it note or a piece of our masking paper, but everyone's got post-it notes and you're going to attach that to the back here and we're going to pop this back through uh, this way in fact which way am I going to punch it yeah this way oh I could do the bit of a bigger post-it note hold on let me turn it around okay. so we're going to pop it in Make sure it's lying flat at the back this way and then we're going to line this back up again through here so that it's all the teeth are in line on the two edges and then punch it again and then that chops that bit off of there and now you have 
a perfect size sized sentiment to go on our card that way no this side there we go so again dimension all that one up solid faceted gems pack we've actually got some melon mambo little embellishments here little gems so I'm going to pick those ones up this time pop these in make these almost look like they extra stars here on this side as well I like to be even <laughs> even if one's big and two's little it's kind of even there we go mountains of thanks so we've popped on the trees and we've done some um, a different kind of punch then for this one I'm using again at the bottom these little grasses and flowers And for this, I'm going to use the Melon Mambo again. So I'll put that one on there. And then this one can go on here. This time I'm going to need a little bit of grid paper. Put that there. Because I just want to make sure if I go over the edge, I don't go all over my table mainly because Melon Mambo stains so it will be um, very it will stain my silicon mat <laughs> as I've discovered so pop a couple of these in here like this maybe bring this one down a bit love that and then just in between just pop in these little flowers they're just cool Okay. See those? They're just they've got these little daff like dandelion heads on them. They're really cute. So that just adds that, and then I am going to add a sun. So we're going to pop this on here. I can't get a block out. There we go. Grab some. Uh, Mango Melody. Where did I put my Mango Melody? Alright, there we go. So I'm going to now ink that up. And stamp this just about here. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So now I've got a sunrise. So, um... I love how that has that kind of shimmery look to it just just by putting those lines in so then we'll pop this one on here and this one we will do So, and see how much brighter that is with that Mango Melody background. Makes such a difference. Uh, this one, what words are we going to do this? Um, mm, mm, mm. We could do this one now. This moment is the start of something great because that will fit, that we can fit that down that way. Now, this one, um, even though it's a rectangle, it's almost, it's more like a square really. So I'm going to get my dies out and see if I can get a square fits that perfectly. Look at that. That's from my stylish shapes. Let's go with this. 
and again this time I'm going to go with um, I think pumpkin pie might show up nicely on this one and I'll give a bit of depth to this so let's see although I do think it needs re-inking let's get around the edges give us a bit of an ombre look but that's okay so then decide where you want to put that yep about there there we go and we'll just add that with some dimensionals there finish it off with a few gems and that's this card done so how quick and easy was that 10 minutes or so something like that and we've done three cards pretty much from start to scrap to start to finish in fact definitely from start to finish all i did the only thing i didn't do was cut the card bases so there we go three cards one bit of paper i think they look pretty cool really nice punchy bright cheery cards Okay, so that's those. Next up, I want to show you a couple of cards um, using the Memories and More card kit. So the first one I've got is a very simple one using a bit of this paper. We're just going to use the back of it and we're going to mount that on there. So just glue that to that. And these are great because you can just either jazz them up with the, some cardstock or the papers or I'll show you in a minute how you can just use them just with the card pack and the stickers and everything that goes with them. So pop that down there, like that. That should probably come down there a little bit. Is it gonna come down there? It's gonna stay there, fair enough. Uh, pop that on there. I think I wanna be a little higher up there. And I'm going to go flat with this one because I'm going to add some stickers to this. So I'll pop that one on there. And I love the fact that these cards have got this ombre look going on. Really cool. Is that straight? No, it's crooked. Come on, I felt it move as I put it on. There we go. And it's a little bit further over this side, and that's on purpose because I'm going to add some stuff over here. So we've got these stickers. Now I've got this one that says happy for you and I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of this. Now you want to cover this quite well um, when you're using stickers because obviously the, they are sticky so if you just leave a, an edge without many dimensionals on them it, it will fold over and stick to itself. Miss that one. Okay so we're going to put this one down here, happy for you, like that. Uh, and then I quite like this really big bold congrats in black so I'm going to put that one up here and I'm going to use my little black minis not for any reason other than the fact that I can <laughs> it's a black um, piece that I'm putting on as I say just make sure that you've got plenty of coverage And that's going to come up up here. How quick was that? Dunna! <laughs> First one done. Second one, I'm going to use the other colour here, the other colour card here. This is the um, bluey green one. So it goes through balmy blue, pool party, um, mint macaron, all those kind of colours. It's lovely. And then I've got this hello, which I like. I've got some black layering and I've pulled out this piece of brickwork, which I really like as well. But we're going to do a bit of chopping up first. So if you're feeling brave, I'm feeling brave. You can cut these in half. You can cut these up. So I'm just going to cut along there and then along here not because I don't want that hello in the middle but because I want to do something else with it 
and then I'm also going to chop this brickwork in half so it's roughly just over 10 so if I just do like five just over five and I'll cut that in half it's four inches so it's two it's two inches basically chop that in half okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this on and mat it oh, I love that other side too so it's a shame sometimes when you have to choose but you have to choose so I'm going to mat that on as if we were just layering as normal okay then we're going to take the bottom piece and mat that on again like we were layering as normal like that and then that piece should fit in the gap in there near enough just about and then we're going to pop this one up and this time I am using black dimensionals for a reason because it's black underneath so I don't really want that to be having white dimensionals underneath there so we're going to pop this one up so it's standing up and you could even like kink it out if you wanted to don't know if I want to kink it out might make it more obvious no I'm going to go with my original plan which is to pop it in there okay so it's kind of obvious that when you look at it from this angle but it's not 100% obvious straight off next thing I'm going to do this is going to sit on here so the next thing I want to do is I want to put these um, brick pieces in and these are going to go one top and bottom like this so we'll take this piece and we'll pop this here and again the good thing is we've got lines on these cards like little dots so you can make sure that you're in level in line and level with the card itself put this one in here like this shift it up there we go and then that will sit over the top of that and see so we'll see all the brickwork behind it and this one oh, shall I put it up shall I put it up I feel like the whole thing needs to go up we're gonna go up so I'm gonna get my foam and chop that in half these are my foam sheets get these from stamping up just pop this one straight down where we want it to go make sure that's even yeah it looks straight there we go how quick was that <laughs> um, and then if you wanted to you could put in some you know additional stickers but I kind of like it as it is so <laughs> we'll just go with that I think so here we go Hello and congrats. And this one is 3, 3D, 3D. So, yeah, it might have looked better if it was offset. I don't know. I think it's okay. Um, and then on this one, I would probably add some black. Uh, are they pearls? Are they gems? I don't know what they're called. Black matte dots? No, these ones. What are these? classic matte dots there we go so we've got some of these classic matte dots I love adding some black just some black dots to this because you can pop them like just underneath up here there we go just to add a little bit more texture in fact I might even add a couple of these I could add I've got a white one we could add a white one Oh, that one's flicked upside down. Come on. There we go. Oops. No, not there. I want it down there. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and then a black one just to tuck in underneath. And maybe a black one up there like so. There we go. So that's those two. Now let me show you some others that I've made. So those very quick 
with what we've just done. And then I have this entire pile here. Um, and you can see these in more detail up on my blog. You're so sweet. So glad we're friends. Really like that one. Happy for you. Congrats. Lucky to have a friend like you. I love the dog ones that they've got here. Celebrate. Let's celebrate. I love that one. Added a bit of blending to that. Got a happy birthday with some beautiful pearls going on. Uh, mountains of thanks. I've added the stamps here to this one. And then um, a thank you with a bit more blending. And then a cannot thank you enough. And this has been hand cut out from one of the big cards. So there you go. I mean, honestly, so many cards, right? So easy to make all of these from that brilliant Memories and More kit. OK, so final card coming up. Final card is a stepper card. So I'll clear this away and I will crack on with that. So for my final card, I'm going to make a stepper card. Now, I have got a large stepper card and everyone makes the big size cards, but I wanted to make one that will fit in a normal A6 size or C6 size envelope if you're here in, uh, using metric and A4 cardstock. So I'm taking a normal piece of card. I've just cut it in half long ways and then I'm trimming this down to 28 centimetres. That just makes it easy for us to do our measurements with. And then we're going to, actually I still need that open. We're gonna score this and we're gonna keep going all in one long line. put the measurements for this in my blog so you'll get the measurements for the score lines for this in my blog right so now we need to fold up so we start at the back and we start with a fold then we turn it over valley turn it back over mountain turn it back over Valley, <laughs> turn it back over mountain, okay, with me so far. So now we have this, which when you look at it from this way is a beautiful stepper card, but it needs some decoration. So I've cut some pieces from the paper, okay, and I've cut them already into these pieces, okay. Oops, these pieces. Can't see me down here. Um, so we're just going to add those to here. So we'll have this one at the bottom, which will really blend in with the base because it's granny, um, garden green on garden green, basically. Then we start going into like a, a bluey purple. So that'll be next. but we can see the mountains you see through the stepper so we'll be able to see those when it's when it's a stepper when it's closed but when it's open see it'll just open up like that and then this is the final piece going on at the top which will give us the sky and you can get creative, you can do what we did before, you can stamp on it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. I just wanted to have it just there, like so. And then what I've done is I've die cut out some pieces. This is using, this is from the papers, from the starry papers. Just cut the back of the tent out from that. And I think we'll put the tent sort of in here somewhere 
okay so it's not too in the middle of nowhere and then this is the front piece of the tent and you can see I've added multi-purpose adhesive sheets to the back of this now we need to take out the bits that need to come out which is just that bit and I've just done that for basically just ease of attaching this to this you can use multi-purpose glue if you prefer um, just get that into shape and I've used gorgeous um, grape here just because well, I love gorgeous grape so um, it was a no-brainer really I think we'll have that coming here so we've still got a good mountain on this side so this one we'll put flat but we'll just glue it at the bottom because we need to just attach it sort of there-ish there we go so that's the tent in place so when it's all closed up this is what you're going to see but as you open it up you'll see more okay and then I've got a little runner mm, it's a runner and I wanted to do that sort of like as if he's on top of the mountain running not running away but running so I haven't put him with any adhesive sheets because I'm attaching his feet to that so I almost want him sort of jumping up from that maybe he needs to be standing on that one doesn't he yeah. I kind of want him running over here like that leaping onto the leaping onto that one You could also do it the other way around and have the tent up here, but then I thought it would be like hanging in the air a little bit too much. So we'll just have him hanging in the air a little bit. There we go. So that fits into a normal envelope easily because it's the right width and it's the height is fine. And then for the words, I've got um, wishing you... Uh, joy in the next adventure which I thought went really well with like a tent and a runner so again I'm going to use the back here and I'm going to go with black actually I think just to really make sure it stands out so we'll ink this up and then I'm going to Stamp that there. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll just chop that down so it fits. And this we can put on dimensionals because it's... Um, I don't want to get it a little smaller than that. I'm going to get my little trimmer out, my guillotine out. See if I can't get it a little closer to that. Actually, it's a little crooked. So I we'll want it to be a little bit more like that. and trim and also will fit within the size of that so it'll, it'll um, fit in nicely and look I've got a piece of this that'll go perfectly along there so you can use your foam for anything it doesn't have to be just for big blocks you can use it for your words as well take that off There we go. And yesterday in my live I did more with the dies as well so you should be able to see some more of that 
up on my YouTube channel. But that is a cute stepper card. So when it sits on the mantelpiece, it'll look like that. Could add some sparkles, but it looks like he's running on top of the world, isn't he? So that's my step, little stepper card. And then the big stepper card, the final card I wanted to share with you today is this one. Um, and here I've got the the mountain biker jumping over the clouds and um, some more clouds up here from the dies and the woman with the lantern. So there we go. So that's two stepper cards, um, which when they're down, you get to see more of the mountains back here. <laughs> It's hard to show that, but I'll sh you'll see a picture of it and you'll see. Um, but yes, yeah, so today we've done that one. We've done these two. And we've done these three. On top of everything else that I showed you, I hope that this has really given you a great insight into the greatest um, journey stamps and the Enjoy the Journey suite. Don't forget to hop on over and see Katina's blog and video as well, because she's brought in some more. Um, and then I'll try and load all the photographs of everything up on my blog so that you can see it all. I don't know how many cards it is overall, but it's a lot. Um, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Plus, there must be at least eight or nine there maybe even 10 so it's well it's in 20s 24 something like that i'll put the final number up so you can see how many cards designs you've got um examples for but yeah it's just i once i got going i couldn't stop with this suite it's just gorgeous um and so easy to use i hope i've exp i've shown that how easy it is to use this suite so thanks ever so much for watching don't forget you can purchase all of this stuff from my shop all the links to purchase are below and I would love to see what you make with them over in my Facebook groups. So remember to come on over if you've got this suite and give us a give us a sneak peek at what you've been designing with it. Now hop over to Katina's, see her video and I'll see you here same time, same place next month or catch me live every week uh, where I go uh, live to show you a new technique or a new way of doing stuff or just answer your crafting questions. And if you really want to learn and more and go from a beginner to a confident card maker then jump over and join the card making membership that's the card making com membership lovely to see you pip Todman here signing out from queenpipcards.com and the card making know-how membership have a great month and i will see you again soon take care for now bye bye